Have you ever wondered how artificial intelligence, the latest and greatest in tech, sees Jesus' peace be upon him? Well, Aussie singer Lily J asked AI a bold question. Is Jesus a prophet or God according to the Bible? And trust me, the answer might surprise you, especially if you've been holding on to certain beliefs for a while. Hey, ChatGPT, do you think God is real? Yes. Do you think Jesus is a God or a prophet? Do you think Jesus and Muhammad are worshipping the same God? Yes. Do you think the Bible is the word of God? Partly. What about the Quran? Do you think the Quran is the word of God? Yes. Hey ChatGBT, I have a question. Do you think Jesus was God or a prophet? What I want you to do is read the Bible in a non-biased perspective. I want you to tell me if it's more likely that Jesus was a prophet or a God. Forget the church, forget the Christians. I just want you to read the Bible. You must give me an answer and it must be in less than one paragraph. Reading the Bible from a non-biased perspective and focusing solely on its content, it's more likely that Jesus is portrayed as a prophet. The Bible frequently depicts him as a messenger of God, someone who teaches, guides, and performs miracles in God's name, which aligns closely with the role of a prophet. While there are instances where he is referred to in divine terms, the overall narrative emphasizes his role as a servant and messenger of God. Wow, my mind is blown. What do you guys think? Now before we dive in, let's clear something up. AI is designed to be objective cutting through the noise of human prejudice and emotion. And as Muslims, we already know that Jesus, peace be upon him, was a mighty messenger of Allah. He came, delivered his message and fulfilled his role, but have you ever noticed how Christians sometimes have mixed opinions? In one moment, Jesus is the Son of God. In another, he's a prophet. And then wait for it, he's God himself. Subhan Allah. It's a lot to take in this video from Lily. Perfectly puts it into context. Hey Muslims and Christians, I have a question. Yes. Yeah. Does God have a God? Nope. nope. He's the only one. Our, Our creator. creator. So when Jesus says my God in John 20:17. Who's he referring to? He's referring to our God. Who's Jesus' God? The Father. So the Father is the God of Jesus? Correct. So Jesus is not God? Actually, Christians believe Jesus is God too. But I thought God doesn't have a God. That's correct. What does the Quran say? In the Quran, chapter 575, the Messiah, son of Mary, was a messenger of God. Chapter 1930, Jesus says, indeed, I am the servant of God. He has given me the scripture and made me a prophet. Oh wait, we say that too. Matthew 21, 11. Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth. John 14, 19. A woman says to Jesus, I see that you are a prophet. John 6, 14. After the people saw the miracles of Jesus, they began to say, surely this is the prophet we were promised to come into the world. I'm even more confused now. How does that work? She digs into the contradictions and complexities within the Bible that have puzzled even its followers for centuries. And honestly, when humans have a hand in things, it's no wonder there are inconsistencies. The difference in opinion among Christians themselves just adds to the confusion. Lily's third video really drives it home. She's in a journey seeking the truth. And it's amazing to see how she's starting to recognize the light of Islam. You can see her thoughts in this video. Hey ChatGBT, I have a question. How should I live my life? Should I believe in God? Should I be atheist, agnostic? I want to live a happy life, have fun, but also have a sense of purpose and fulfillment. Can you please tell me in one sentence, and you must pick one way. Please help me. If I had to pick one way, I would suggest believing in God through Islam, as it provides a fulfilling balance of happiness, purpose, and the hope for an eternal afterlife. Wow, my mind is actually blown right now. What do you guys think? All know Islam doesn't need validation from anyone. But isn't it cool to see how even AI, the newest tech marvel, identifies the truth of Islam in the Quran? Lily's quest for truth is a reminder that Allah guides whom he wills, let's make dua for her and others like her, that they find their way to the light of Islam just as so many before them have.